Hey yo everyone, this is a Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another well, walkthrough episode for, for the game Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. Yeah, there, I'm to continuing on with this uh, support logs. Silas of Oboro. <laughs> oh, hi there, Oboro. Come to do some training? Sure. I've heard that Hoshin's uh, style of swordplay is in unrivaled. I'd love to learn more of it. Huh? How about some friendly sparring to test our skills? Pass. Whoa, that face really says it all. You really don't want to spar with me, huh? It's nothing personal. I hate all Norians equally. Just thinking of them gets my blood boiling. But maybe I'll relax a little if you turn out not to be so bad. Alright, I guess I can't fault you. What with the bad blood between our nations? But let's uh, put our, that anger to use. What could we still do with some, some sparring? Not a good idea. As angry as I am, I'd probably kill you. I'm going to do something else now. Bye. That's strange. Well, I'm sure she has her reasons. Heh. <laughs> there you are, Mozu. Oboro, where did you come from? I have this hobby where I put together outfits for people. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew. And you're my next project. Let me figure out a nice outfit for you, Mozu. <laughs> you always wear such a drab outfits. I want to fix that. What? But, but I like these clothes. It can't hurt to try a few things on, right? I promise you'll look adorable. A, co uh, a country girl like me? I doubt it. Psh. It doesn't matter where you're from. Any girl could look good with the right outfit. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to carry the look up once I decide on one. I just uh, know I'd be the laughing stock of the army if I put on fancy clothes. Those cute outfits and heavy makeup, you like. Those cute outfits and heavy makeup you like, like would look silly on me. That's ridiculous. You already look great in what you have on, Mozu. Flatter won't get you anywhere. Mozu, come on. Aren't we friends? Uh, I guess we... Uh, wait! No, you don't. I'm not falling for your trap. You're trying to guilt me, me into letting you have your way. Of course I'm not. Okay, maybe a little. I knew it. Just leave me alone. Oh, Mozu, this is gonna be tough. But I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> huh? Oh, hot. Hi, Hayato. Why are you making a weird face? What do you mean, a weird face? I'm doing some serious thinking here. Oh, sorry, I'm just... It's just your eyebrows were all screwed up when I first looked. What are you thinking about? Folks from the Wind Tribe sometimes send me boxes of full, full of provisions. Well, that's really thoughtful of them. No, it's not. Some of them get the wrong idea about what stuff I can actually make use of. You mean like things you don't need? What are they sending you? Like this. Whoa, look at the size of this box. Purses, dolls, accessories, ooh, flowers on everything. These are really cute. Yes, they are. They'd be great for a small child. I'm not one, though. I think I'll just send it all back to them. What? No way, that would be such a waste. If you don't want it, I'll take the whole box. You want this stu stuff that badly? Why not? I like collecting things with flowers on them. The purse is all have that pattern. I think they're really cute. Well, if you want them that badly, go ahead and take everything. Really? Are you sure? That's very generous, Hayato. So I'll take it all. No problem. Oh, I love this. And that. And that. What shall I put in all these purses? Wow, she looked really happy. That's where I could sw swear Hayato's been avoiding me. He doesn't do it when we're in combat, though. I wonder what the problem is. Hey, Hayato. You, uh, hold on, don't run off on me the, the instant you see me. Uh, running off? Who's running off? That might sound better if you weren't saying it with your back turn. But forget it. I just want to know why you've been giving me the cold shoulder. God, don't come near me. How can we hold a conversation from a hundred paces? Good question. Let's find out. What? Now you're blocking my way. That's right. Now you've got nowhere to run, mister. Help! Quiet, you. Why are you so freaked out? All I did was touch your shoulder. 
Uh, I'll never talk. Never. Hey, what's with that kid? Well, I'm not giving up until I get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Who's there? Show yourself. I'm impressed, Lady Hinoka. For all my stealth, you detected me almost immediately. I thought it might be you. You have a very distinctive presence. You could, I could say the same for you, Lady Hinoka. <laughs> We've known each other so long, and you've never ch changed in all that time. So what's got you so skulking around, around at this hour? Lord Ryoma entrusted me with a secret letter. I have instructions to deliver to you at this specific time. Ryoma sent this. What's it about? I don't know. It's not my place to read his mail. Alright, I'll give it a look then. What the... Hmm, okay... Thanks for delivering this letter. You've done well, Saizo. Thank you. I must return to my master now. So soon? Aren't you curious about what was in the letter? No. My part in this is done. Farewell, Lady Hanoka. Hmm. Ugh. Oboro, what's going into you? Yikes. Make some noise next time I know you're coming, Orochi. Sorry to startle you, but I wasn't really skulking around. You must have been pretty distracted not to do notice me. I get. Oh, I guess I was. Huh? Ugh. Where's that upbeat old boro I remember? Do you need someone to tell you troubles to? Uh, you just laugh. Preposterous. I've never laughed at someone going through hard times. Well, I don't know. Seriously, don't worry about it. Tell me what's on your mind. Alright, here goes. I was passing by the weapon shop in town and saw a set of heavy black armor. Seeing it reminded me of Nora, which made me grimace. Grimace? Is that what you call that horrible demon face you make? Yeah, yeah that's the one. And then this little kid not far off saw me and burst into tears. Just thinking about it makes me sad. You should have seen his face. <laughs> that's priceless. Hey, you promised you wouldn't laugh. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Uh -huh. Oh, don't get so upset. I get a kick out of that face you make. It's very you. you. Ugh, I hate it. It terrifies people. It's like a bad habit I just can't kick. Hmm. You know, maybe there is something I can do to help. There is, like what? Yeah, I know what, just what to do. Consider it my apology for laughing at you. I think I'll take you up on that. Huh, leave it to me. There is no no more to go over. We can just move on to the next chapter. Chapter 10, Ninja Village. With Aizana safe and the Norian imposters defeated, Korin heads toward the bottomless canyon in pursuit of Ryoma and Takumi. Mokushu. The road ahead seems heavily forested. Is that where we're going? Yes, it is. But there is a path that leads to the bombless canyon. This whole area is the domain of Mokushu, another independent nation. If we encounter any of its citizens, they should be friendly. But... We should be wise to remember how Nora compromised Izumo before we arrived. I wouldn't worry about Nora strong arming Mokoshu or my lady. The locals are well known for their proficiency in their mar in martial arts. Many great ninja have sharpened their craft here. No, it's like that Nora strategist would have tried to avoid this area, even if it meant taking a long r route. And we haven't heard about any bows in the area. Another good let's sign. See. Very well, let's proceed. Yeah, well. Boo, bet you didn't expect to see me here. <gasps> Zola, you've been following us? You're massively outnumbered, so you can't possibly be in a search of a fight. Relax, Corin. He probably just came back to offer me a chance to cut him. Wasn't that thoughtful of him? <laughs> no, please. 
I'm defeated. I did not show up here to challenge all of you by myself. I came here to surrender and to seek amnesty. And why should we trust you? Well, to be honest, you shouldn't. I tried to kill you. But you saw that what Lord Leo was about to do to me. I can no longer return to Nor. I am exiled. Without the backing of an army, I am a of little danger to you. But maybe I could be of some assistance. Hmm. Corrin, Corrin, surely you can't con be considering his proposal. Can I come yet? Hey, stay away from me, please. I think we should bring him with us. Wait, really? Yes, really, Corrin. Yes. As he said, he's of little danger to us by himself. And he may prove, prove to have some value. Lastly, it's not the Hoshian way to turn one's back on the helpless. You have a kind heart, Corrin. Perhaps too kind. Oh, thank you, Prince Corrin. I can't believe I let King Garin convince me that you deserve to die. What you've done here today shows your true character, that of a brave leader. You're overreacting, Zola. And please remember, if any of us catch you do doing anything suspicious, I will allow Hinoka to cut you down. I'll always be standing by, knife at the ready, Corrin. So don't even think about doing anything stupid, you got that? Yes, my lady. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Just like uh, uttering in his mind. Ah, uh, this forest is, air is still refreshing. And I have to say, I'm enjoying this path a fair bit more than the eternal stairway. Are we getting anywhere close to the bombless canyon, Sakura? I believe so. <sighs> What's the matter? Are you getting tired? No, I was just thinking about Ryoma and Takumi. Sometimes I forget that they're missing, and when I remember, it's like a wound is freshly open. I know the feeling, but please try to stay positive. Worrying about isn't going to do anything but drive you crazy. You're right, I'll do my All best. Right. That's the spirit. Whoa, watch Stop. out! A shuriken? Get down, What's everyone. This? this belongs to a Mokushu ninja. I sense the presence of many. I believe we're surrounding Corin. Blast! So much for Nor staying away from Mokoshu. I'm not sure we're dealing with Nor. I think she's right. I know that Nor wants to fight with the kingdom of Mokoshu. How convenient. Come here, runt. Ah, please remove that blade from my throat. Not until you tell us what's going on. God, your guess is as good as mine. Perhaps Nor must Nor has made an alliance with Mokoshu. The deformed one is correct. Our kingdom has made an arrangement with Nor. Who are you? Damyo of Mokoshu. And what is your quarrel with us, Damyo Kotaro? Kodoro? We merely seek passage uh, through your territory. Yes, our understanding was that Mokoshu is an independent nation. Yet you are now be beholden to Nor. Beholden. Ha, Mokoshu is beholden to no nation. Our interest has simply to line up with those of Nor for the time being. Once Hoshio is defeated, King Garen will grant us considerable new territory. We've uh, long, been, long been waiting to, for the chance to expand. And this war is the perfect opportunity. So you're a war profiteer. How noble. Gods, the famous Daimyo of Mokoshu turns out to be a scheming politician. I don't even have, the wor have words for how disappointing that is. And even if you did, it wouldn't make a difference. Grow up, foolish Hoshidans. Only the ambitious prosper in this world. It was careless of us to think that of this possibility. Indeed, now that I ha have all of you in one place, I can end the war today. I look forward to building a castle on the smoking ruins where Hoshido once stood. Go on, keep talking. I'll savor making you eat those words. a bunch of ninjas spear fighters on in archers on they're on level 9 yeah my team is overpowered by 6 to 7 levels yeah for most of my units well my avatar is on level 17 
There are traps in this stage. Let's see. Okay, so Kotaro is a master ninja. Lo level two, two. But his stats are a little, little well weak, though. He's able to use Dull Shuriken and Kodachi. So it's no use countering with. So yeah, with his Dull Shuriken, he could counter, counter. Let's see, he could counter Axis and Clubs. Axis, Clubs, Bows, and Yumi's. And with Kodachi, I'm not sure if he'll get around to using it, but. Kodachi is a th throwing uh, throwing katana. So yeah, I can attack him one, one to two spaces away. Yeah, I'll try to assemble my forces. Yeah, I'm just using the characters that could use a level up. I'm only bringing Felicia along because I need one more healer. Nah, no I don't. I already got two healers. Got a couple of other characters that are already on level 16. I could bring Setsu Asuna a lot along. She has a type. She has a weapon advantage against against shurikens and spears. And could tangle with other archers. Yeah, there's a lot of ninjas and spear fighters in this stage. And Okay, there's like two diviners. Three diviners. Four diviners. Yeah, diviners are the only cl five diviners. Diviners is the only class that can counter against bow users. Bows, bow, you mean axes and club users. Yeah, some care, some units will remain stationary. Yeah, there's woods and there's thick wood. Yeah, I don't think, think he could take cover in thick wood. wood. I'm sure, he could fly over with aerial units. And reinforcements will come out of the droves. Yeah, I'm deciding on who should lead the assault. Oh, and there are some traps here. Trigger traps to hurt all units each turn. So as soon as, soon as you get within range, there there will be so there will be tra traps, uh, spikes that will pull that 
No, that when if your character is on that uh, tile when your tur turn comes up, they will take take the damage. What's more, more it will also hinder your movements as you are moving along the gr grid. And if you are still still on the on the tile with sp uh, spikes on there, your your avoidance will also drop. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.